Dr. Simon Rosenberg, the high-tech dentist, and as many of you know, I utilize a number of high-tech uh, modalities in my practice, and I don't like to talk about something until I've used it for at least six months. Well, last December, we upgraded and bought a second uh, BioLase uh, water lase unit, uh, their newest, the I+, Plus. every five years they come up with uh, a an innovation that uh, helps um, improve the state of the art um, and the I plus is no exception in fact it's a rather uh, exceptional unit one of the things that they put in which makes it very nice is the presets instead of being just a uh, column of uh, numbers actually has a list so if we're doing something restorative I select restorative and then if I'm doing a class one restoration it automatically sets up and has the presets tells me which is the standard handpiece to use whether it's the gold or the turbo which tip and what the settings are if I decide that because of the size of the restoration I want to go to either a smaller or a larger tip this is uh, 0.6 millimeters, 0.8, 0.5. These three are in zirconia, and these are all sapphire tips. Um, so if, for instance, I feel as if I need a little bit more uh, power or the distribution to be different, I can pick it and it'll tell us exactly which um, handpiece. It will set everything up and then I right now it's going through its startup cycle um, because it has to switch parameters going from a uh, zirconia z-tip to going to a sapphire tip we have here again two settings for uh, comfort prep if I want to work a little bit more quickly, if the patient is anesthetized or uh, less sensitive, I can switch it to the uh, rapid uh, prep and then to improve the bonding surface. One of the things that they do to improve the bonding surface is to raise the number of hertz so each pulse will be uh, much shorter, more pulses per second. Uh, so that it gives a finer, more uniform uh, surface. We also have, again, a number of soft tissue procedures. If I'm trying to recontour a gummy smile, there are settings for gingival recontouring. And again, they here have a rapid cut, a smooth cut, and then for just plasting or uh, smoothing off the uh, tissue, we also have the ability to have a very specific setting when we're doing a phrenectomy, that extra uh, bit of skin that's between the uh, teeth. It's a little muscle attachment. Uh, and in some cases, if it attaches too high, it pulls on the gum tissue. If we need to take a biopsy or excise a small lesion, again, there are settings for that. If we're doing a root canal, we have the ability to help us to get a sterile canal. And again, we do access. Sometimes if it's a hot tooth, a tooth that's very sensitive to the vibration of the standard drill, we actually can use the biolase to make the access cavity. We then can do the conventional filing and cleaning and then we can use the laser settings with very very tiny radio firing tips that not only put the energy straight down but all the energy is directed out at 45 degrees so that any bacteria that are in the small canals in the wall are uh, disinfected and again they have a cleaning phase that's used with uh, water and then a disinfectant phase where you can see water set to one meaning there's virtually no water being uh, administered in addition we also have 
availability, and this has been revolutionary in my practice, the ability to do pocket therapy. We're able to take in many patients with fairly good predictability, probably more than 85% predictable, deep pockets, we're talking about five, six, seven millimeter pockets, and get a reattachment of the gum tissue higher up on the tooth and a reduction of the pocket. And in most cases, we go from whatever that depth is, five, six, seven millimeters, down to one millimeter or less. Um, we're bringing back health. And again, it is there to guide us through. We, with the uh, deep pocket therapy, we remove the inner lining of diseased epithelium. We then use a different set setting to clean off the hardened tartar, the calculus that's on the root. If the base of the bone from our sounding on the bone is not of a good architecture, we can use, again, a different setting to shape the bone. And then finally, because epithelium, the lining of the mouth heals much quicker than the fibroblasts that have to reattach to the root, we actually take away just about five millimeters, about a fifth of an inch from the margin down so that the cells have to grow up, recover that, and hopefully by that time the fibroblasts have sealed the gum to the tooth. So these are really exciting times.